I don't really like when people say, oh, that's so cute. That drives me crazy. I would probably describe it as being kind of like 3D illustration, like it tells a story. Just kind of like Alice in Wonderland-ish or like Tim Burton-ish or um, just kind of creepy Halloween-ish. It's hard to describe. I don't know. One of my teachers described it as playfully macabre. So that's a good description, I think. I would say when I was a little kid, I just really got inspired with my mom being a potter because she started when I was just really little and doing art shows. I thought it would be fun since she's selling stuff. I thought, why can't I do something? So I started making these little tiny snakes out of clay that I sold for 35 cents each. And now I have these pieces that sell for a few hundred dollars. So it kind of evolved from there. Sometimes I start, I make like a pinch pot and then I make another pinch pot and then I score and slip them and then put them together. So I have like a round ball. I put those together and then I kind of make, uh, press the eyes in and then I kind of make details. And lately I've been putting tentacles on them for arms, don't ask me why. I've just been having fun with that. I like using my creativity and just letting the clay take shape in my hands and just like seeing what it's going to become and um, I just have a lot of fun with shaping the clay and coming up with my own characters and using my imagination. I've had some jobs where I've had to sculpt exactly what they wanted like to a T and I just did not have fun with that. Sometimes I paint things like black first and then I dry brush over the top. But then other times I've started adding just like a, an iron oxide over the top of the clay, like a black iron oxide, and then it allows the clay to show through. And then occasionally I paint them with acrylic. Sometimes I use underglazes, which, uh, so it just depends the effect I want. I, sometimes I think of stories as I'm working on them. I try to think of where they're coming from, you know, and if they're young or old, or give them characteristics to make them look like this or that. I just, I just like to give them a history, you know. I just hope that people enjoy it and they like what they buy and that they take away their own little story with it. I, it makes me feel good that people like my artwork and I hope that it makes them happy and they enjoy something that I make.